Electricity is the flow of electric current, but to my students, I love to describe electricity in terms of energy. It is a form of energy, and we all know energy to be the ability to do work or to perform tasks. Okay. Now, electricity is a form of energy in which work is done utilizing the flow of electric uh, electrons. Sorry, and we know that the flow of electrons is equal to electric current. Electric current on its own can just start flowing. It's always propelled by an electric force, better known as electric voltage. Now, in this video, our interest is in its propagation or its generation. How is this electricity generated? Emphasis on the alternating type of electricity. We know that um, there is DC and there is AC, but our interest in this very video is how exactly is AC type of um, electricity generated. If you are joining us for the first time, I am Emmatech Electrical. In this channel, I teach practical electrical engineering and I as well try to reconcile classroom theories with practicals, okay? So kindly click on the subscribe button, like and share this video and equally click on the bell notification icon so that whenever I drop amazing videos, you'll be notified. This form of electricity, alternating type of electricity, is realized from um, inverters, the public grid, and generators. In the case of inverters, the primary input is DC, so we are not talking about inverters now. In the case of the public grid, um, we may not have access to its components, okay, so it's kind of ambiguous, but we can easily lay our hands on generators and its components. The, the most important thing is the output waveform. It's, it's the same alternating um, waveform for both generators, the inverter, output of an inverter, and then what we get from the circuits or from the public grid, okay? So let's look at what happens in the olden days when uh, generators are made with permanent magnets, uh, a, a conductor, a moving conductor, and then a slip ring. Then this new generation gen uh, generators where you have an armature, the starter, the AVR system, and the brush, okay? So if we pay attention, there are three vital components here, conductor, magnetic field, and then motion. Let me say that again. We must have conductors, we must have a magnetic field, and there must be motion. This three must come to play before this alternating type of electricity is realized, okay? There are very interesting principles, laws, and theories behind this. To better understand this, we'll be making reference to two powerful materials. One is A to Z of single phase generators and electric motors. This is not a regular theory oriented book. It reconciles theories perfectly with their practical applications. The book reveals exactly what happens and the role of individual components that make machines behave how they do. These materials goes as far as providing solution measures to the common problems that arise from these machines, like generators and electric motors, including their core rewinding and connection diagrams. The second powerful material we'll be making reference to is electromagnetic theory for complete novices. It is the material that breaks down electromagnetism and electromagnetic induction to its simplest terms and places them at your fingertips. These materials are must have for electrical personnel who wish to know how and why certain things happen and machines behave the way they do. Grab these materials via the description section of this video. Thanks for watching.